Hello guys, my name is Philip Palms in tech to mars tech to mars .com, and today I'll give you a fast tutorial, an easy tutorial, how to install the Cyanogen Mode 11 with Android 4.4.2 on your uh, Galaxy S3. If you like this video, just give us a thumbs up, subscribe our channel as well, and follow us in tech to mars .com. Here we go guys, let's go install the Cyanogen Mode 11 uh, with uh, an Android 4.4.2 KitKat on our, or uh, on my Galaxy S3 completely broken. So this is a video for Genius.pt, a Portuguese website of technology and uh, tech2mars.com. Uh, tech to Mars, another website of technology where you can be aware of all technology uh, news. So let's go, um, let's begin, let's just focus in here, let's begin with our Galaxy S3, you need to be rooted first, if you're not rooted just follow uh, our video, it will be on the description and when you go to the root checker it needs to show you congratulations, this device has, has root access. So continuing, uh, let's go to Play Store and we'll download after the root done be aware guys you need to root it and when you root it you lost your warranty so make sure that you know what you're doing let's download this application uh, called Flashify just for root users again uh, I'll, basically this application will download it, our TR, TWRP and we'll go there in a second so this is just that flash thing you know what I mean let's go open the application Flashify Let's just accept in here and checking for root, yes, and let's give a permission from a super user request. So here we go, um, you have just open click in recovery image and download TWRP and click on the last image that you've seen, Mine, in this case is TWRP 2.7.00. If you have a new one, just download the latest one. Now it's preparing to download and we'll download and install the Team Win Recovery Project. So here we go, downloading. <laughs> um, all the all the Cyan Engine mode and the gaps will be on the link right there as well. Just make sure that you follow that and download that. It's not hard if, if you basically do that will be simple so you can click and reboot now or you can do it manually I'll do manually to show how it's done uh, but if you reboot now we'll go to the same uh, same thing that we're gonna do now so but yeah just download the thing follow all these steps and you'll see that everything gonna be all right guys let's just power off our phone to put it in recovery mode and believe me, this is always going bad for me. I hate doing this because the buttons don't like me. I think that. So we just click on a power button, uh, volume up, and the menu button on our phone. And I told you guys, this is not going very good for me. Uh, one, no, still not working. So this is actually good that it happens uh, because you're not being alone in here. It's just. Uh, a nightmare for me just to make the recovery more. I know this is quite simple, but my phone, as you can see, it's not brand new and <laughs> it's quite hard to make a recovery. So, here we go. No, it was almost there. Uh, just take out the battery. God, I'm just, just annoying. God, here we go. Don't do that. I'll do it because it's mine and I know it's my responsibility. So, here we go. Team win and we're in. Yeah. So after you get in the team win, let's make a wipe thing. Just make sure that all guys, all your applications will be deleted. So when you do the wipe, just make sure it will be factory reset. So I'm really sorry, just do a backup of all pictures and all contacts if you have it or not. I basically put mine in Google Cloud and everything is alright. So we it, the TWRP it's like this it's 
quite easy and simple. Let's wipe the phone first, just to make sure that everything gonna be right. Little things gonna be on. It's actually right nice that music. So here we go, factory reset. It's successful. Let's go back as you can see, factory reset complete. Let's go back and do not forget, please do not forget to do the backup. Uh, if something gone wrong, you always have a chance to go back. Mate, with me happens loads of time. Before I get the right thing, I have loads of problems. Uh, this will take a while for four or five minutes. Follow all the instructions that I'll tell you it's gonna be right. The thing is, uh, when I was downloading the, for, uh, the Cyanation Mode 11, I downloaded loads of files uh, that were corrupted, I don't know, they just broken. And basically, the first time I forgot to do the forgot to do the backup, it was a nightmare. I need to install the stock ROM. It's you can reverse that. Don't worry, but it takes you age, ages to to make everything working out. So do this backup. It's three four minutes. Uh, if okay, five minutes on the massing time, and it's not taking long, and it save you lots of work if something gone wrong. So let's do the backup. It's taking a while but and we will come back soon the, the the here we go we already come back god it was quite fast not really cut the video out so let's wipe the phone again factory reset yes let's go back and advance advanced wipe so make sure you do these two wipes one wipe is the fact the swipe factory reset and go to advancing and click on dalvik cache and swipe again and we'll tell you that tell you that it's all right so basically download the files that i just give you down below to your memory card I try to install without memory card is quite hard just go in there pressing you can see on the top you have internal storage and micro sd card put all the files that i gave you on a micro sd card just over there you can see and uh, you, you have internal storage and micro micro sd let's select the cyanogen mode sm 11 and snapshot m6 just select that one and you you actually can do both at the same time but i had some problems as well so do once at the time and you can see how this works swipe and is installing china gen mode it's quite simple guys um yes believe me if you follow all these instructions if you download the files that i just gave you everything will be fine no worries at all but be careful with the downloads that you just uh, do and be careful what you install on your device okay so it's successful you can go home and you or we can reboot the system so let's reboot the system and see how cyanogen mode looks like on our galaxy s3 we have two documents if you have seen you have a cyanogen mode and we have a gaps gaps basically will install you the, um, the play store and install you the gmail and google apps so this cyanogen mode that we're installing right now it's working but it's not working any kind of uh, google applications so basically what we're gonna do is show you how to install that uh, Google Play Store and Google applications. Let's just open the Cyanogen mode for you guys see how it looks like and install the GAP file that will be basically the same that we have done to Cyanogen mode and will be completely all right. So let's wait a little bit for Cyanogen mode started. The first time it takes longer than the other guy, the other time, but uh, it's actually uh, okay let's just wait a little bit and here we go welcome to say on a general ta -ta 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 -ta. let's select english united kingdom skip 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 next 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 just to show you okay guys you don't actually need to select anything we'll need to do another wipe so this is cyanogen mode on galaxy s3 as you can see you have no play store in here no uh, gmail no actually google apps at all so what we're gonna do we'll be we'll doing the the do, we'll install the other ones the other applications so let's power off and do the recovery mode that i ate so much and I'm, I'm basically talking after make the video so I know what's going in what what will happen and it's kind of embarrassing for me 
<laughs> but guys, for me, for my phone, it's completely broken. It's it's a nightmare to do it the recovery mode. But I'll need to show you as as need to be done. Follow up um, power button, menu button at the same time. Don't you actually don't need to take out batteries or something like that? Ah, I need it because I was quite derp to do that. So let's just enjoy the time and have fun with me while I'm trying to make these works. Galaxy S3 i9300. This is just for the 9300. If you have a Verizon um, AT&T, will not work. Okay. Make sure that your uh, device, it's an international international model GTI 9300. Okay. And yeah, if it is follow the steps, everything will be perfect. So and here we go, a team win and we'll do exactly the same but install the caps instead of the cyanogen mode again. So let's go to install, no first of all we actually need to wipe a cache again. So wipe the factory reset again, get back and advance it, down the cache and wipe, done. So get back get back again install from your SD card open and gaps swipe confirm flash yes and here we go it is not taking long and you will see that will be cyanogen mode working perfectly with Android 4.4.2 KitKat on our Galaxy S3 I tried believe me uh, install the one of the not ROMs but a basically um, an update that XDA uh, did um, but it would not work very well, it had loads of bugs in there so basically skipped it out uh, install the cyanogen mode, it's, this, this ROM is the most stable 4.4.2 uh, cyanogen mode uh, so yes, it will be alright, you'll have no problems at all, I'm using it and uh, it's okay, as you can see this is my uh, G2 and with cyanogen mode and it's it's all right no problem at all hey guys don't forget to download our application in tech to mars uh just write tech to mars on your play store and you'll find our application for android and you have for windows as well if you have a windows phone in there just download for windows tech to mars and you will see it so yeah basically it's like this it's a 4.4.2 actually with some more tweaks they're actually funny you have more um, interface uh, options there you actually can make it in your um, own experience it is indeed a really nice rom and i i rather have this one than the, the stock rom of android 4.4.2 so don't worry about the waiting time, it's taking some time, oh here we go, now it's done, let's go. English United Kingdom, you do wherever you are, set up your account, yes later, next, 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 just to show you how it looks like, done, open cyanogen mode and voila. This is cyanogen mode with the Play Store, with the Google Apps and completely working with no problem at all as you can see it's taking 15 minutes of your time and you do this if you're not rooted you need to root the phone first so make sure you follow our first video on the link below to root your phone uh, guys what I have to say is basically if you like this video just give us a thumbs up subscribe our channel it's really important for us so Thank you very much for watching and go to our website in tech2mars.com. Take care, enjoy your day.